So at the moment you get um, promoted for papers and publications and not so much um, writing good code. You get money to do um, exciting research, um, but there's not much um, funding money invested in actually maintaining software created for the long term. And I think um, that should change to just make the outputs we create more sustainable. I would really like to see researchers getting credit within the system in which they work for their software, whether that's through citation, which is the thing that I've worked on the most, um, where the software that somebody writes would be cited when it's used, and those citations then would carry over. So you could go from a scientific result to understanding what software was used in order to generate that result. Um, but on the other hand, uh, it could also be done through institutions directly. So institutions could measure the software that they produce and try to reward the individuals that have um, developed and maintained that software in some other means as well. So I would go to universities uh, and give people a holistic and modern education uh, also when it comes to business. I think there's business around because sustainable software requires money. Often the software gets um, sponsored because you can do something with the software and you can drive novel research which you can publish. But if we teach people about, about the business background and the licensing background of what they do, uh, they can think about a suitable business model and can find uh, some ways of financing uh, their software and make it, make it better, additionally to, uh, to, to what, what drives sustainability. I think there's a big educational challenge. So lots of um, students who go on to become researchers are not taught good software development practices. I think many of us are self-taught and only sort of discovering that there's a whole world uh, of, of good practices out there once you start digging into it. It should be mandatory really for for most students to have like a crash course in, in software development practices because you don't know what you're looking for until you, you well know what you're looking for. <laughs> I think one of the hardest things for research software is that it's a collaborative endeavour. So at the moment in academia we look to see what each individual person has contributed and research software will always be bigger than the sum of its parts. So the thing that I would change is to really acknowledge the fact that we all work together to support each other and I'd love to see more credit given to those people.